Time now for a story you'll see only here on Western Mass News, the Holyoke Soldiers Home. After the number of veteran deaths climbs to 15, six of those deaths testing positive for COVID-19. The governor is speaking at a press conference in Worcester about that very issue. And Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo getting answers for us. She joins us now live from there with the latest and with an exclusive interview with one of the Soldier Homes nurses. Audrey. The governor was fairly tight-lipped at the press conference today about the situation at the Holyoke Soldiers' Home, saying he expects all the details to come out in the independent investigation being led by attorney Mark Perlstein. Meanwhile, a nurse within the facility who works at the Holyoke Soldiers' Home says that staffing shortages and moving patients around within the building may have contributed to the virus's spread. We don't have enough staff to take care of the veterans the way they should be. More than a dozen veterans are dead at the Holyoke Soldiers Home and the nurses who care for the veterans are working while trying to avoid catching the virus themselves. Joan Miller, a nurse at the facility, says it's not easy because the limited staff must work on different units every day. You're on my unit one day, which we're free of it as of now that I know of, and the next day you're down in the unit that is blowing up with it and then the very next shift are back on my unit. She also claims that many veterans are being moved out of their normal rooms to different parts of the building. She says because of this, their living quarters became more cramped. The beds are right on top of each other. They can't get to their bathrooms. Miller says this was exacerbated by a lack of adequate personal protective equipment given to the staff. They did not get the proper PPE in time. Now the home is under investigation by an attorney hired by the state. At a press conference today, Governor Charlie Baker didn't give a timeline of when families would see the findings. I don't want him to rush this. I want him, I want him to get it right. And I think I speak for every single family and every single uh, person who worked there and everybody who, um, who cares about that place that at the end of the day, what we really want is the right answer. Baker also wouldn't speak to whether or not criminal charges are expected to arise. I don't anticipate anything other than this point other than a thorough investigation by a trained professional who has an outstanding reputation who I believe will give us what we want, which is answers to what happened there and what went wrong and why. And what we can do to make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm living alone. My family's not with me. Uh, it is tough. For nurses like Miller, answers can't come quickly enough. My daughter made an outline of my grandson's hand and that's for me to hold whenever I miss him and that is a very poor substitute for my grandson. State officials answering questions about the Holyoke Soldiers Home say that they've now tested every resident for COVID-19 and that they expect the results back within 24 hours. They say they've moved on to testing all of the staff at this time. And they also say that they're working on establishing quarantine and isolation zones within the building. Live in Worcester, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.